Hello and welcome to another episode of Mindset Mastery Moments with yours truly, Dr. Elisa. Disruptors, how have you been? How has it been going? Have you been crushing your 2024 goals? Tell me, I want to know, comment wherever you see this or listen to this episode. Let me know that you are crushing your goals in 2024. Or if you're just a little bit stuck, listen, I got you. Just reach out to me. Go to MindsetMasterMoments.com or ElisaWhite.com and you can connect with me there. Let's have a session to get you from stuck to unstuck, whether it's in your life, your career, or your business. But today I brought you a brief episode that's definitely going to help you become unstuck. Today we are going to tackle limiting beliefs. You know, the belief system, which I refer to as BS. We're going to go through what is a limiting belief, why it it exists in our lives, in all of our worlds, and how we're going to be able to take it down. So get your pen and your notepad or just cozy up and really listen and listen to this as many times as you need to and then pass it on. Don't you sit on the wealth. It takes money to make money and I want you to look at the currency here of information and make sure that you're sharing it so you can keep the flow of currents, the currency of information that's transforming your life, changing your mindset and making, helping bring you to the success that you truly desire. So what is a limiting beliefs and limiting belief and how it's formed is exactly one of the biggest questions I get. And that's exactly why I wanted to do this episode for you. Now, beliefs are formed through a complex interplay of genetics, environment, personal experiences. You see, our brains are wired to seek patterns and make sense of the world around us just naturally. I bet you already knew that. But leading to the development of a belief system is what shapes our thoughts, our emotions, and our behaviors. And these beliefs systems act as a filter through which we interpret the reality of the things that are occurring and happening around us. And that now influence every aspect of our lives. So think of your belief system, I love to say, as the oil in the engine of your thoughts and your emotions and your behaviors. And that is why I developed a system called Think, Speak, Do, Become. So what is a limiting belief and really how do we shift it? Now we said belief systems are the oil in your engine of your thoughts, emotions, and behavior, right? So there are limiting belief and limiting belief systems that we develop in response to what we have learned through genetics, environment, and some of our personal experiences. So let's look at a limiting belief is is deeply ingrained thought, a deeply ingrained thought because it's not just surface level, right? It's a thought pattern that constrains your potential and prevents you from utilizing and tr- utilizing your gifts, skills, talents, and abilities and truly realizing your goals altogether. You see, beliefs, uh, the limiting beliefs often come from past experience, societal condition or societal norms, and then it brings that irrational level of fear that exists within you that literally, as I would say, stop you in your track. So how can we really, how do we really know that it's a limiting belief? Well. We can definitely identify it by, let's say, for example, geez, she went and started at first. I had the same idea last month and now, um, oof, she's already put it out there. I can't put it out there. Yeah, that's too, yeah, that's just, that's, people are not going to see me. She's already out there. That's a limiting belief because there's more than enough for all of us billions of people on the planet so through techniques such as cognitive reconstructing instructing mindfulness neurolinguistic programming 
we can challenge and reframe these limiting beliefs by replacing them with empowering narratives that align with the goals that we say we want. And most importantly, with our own personal values, our true values and core beliefs. And you know, I talk about that a lot because true values, core beliefs are the ones that are truly yours, right? And so even though I mentioned things like cognitive reconstructing and NLP, neurolinguistic programming, those are things that you don't even have to worry about because that's what folks like me do. We, it's simply reframing those thoughts. And so while we may have deeper scientific names for them, these are things that you can do in your everyday life. So what is the opposite of a limiting belief or having the BS belief systems that just get you stuck? The opposite is an abundance mindset. And so how do we unlock an abundance mindset? Because first, let's talk about what an abundance mindset is. An abundance mindset is a state of consciousness that is rooted in the belief that there are limitless opportunities and resources and possibilities available to you, to us, to each of us on the planet. And there really is. And so it draws from the principle of positive psychology and quantum physics that the abundance mindset encourages us to shift our focus of scarcity and lack to gratitude and abundance. You see, I told you this is not hard, even though we have so much scientific research and names behind how to get there, it's really shifting and focusing from scarcity and lack to gratitude and abundance. So what can you do really? By practicing gratitude and cultivating a sense of abundance and embracing a mindset of abundance, we can truly unlock our full potential and attract abundance in our lives no matter what part of the journey we are truly on. So when I talk about how you can truly unlock a limiting belief is number one. I, I, I want you to consider, I want you to consider that you are worthy. First of all, think I am worthy of my goals and dreams. And I will not miss, let anything stop me because truly you are unstoppable. And that is a mindful thought about aligning yourself in self-worth. And then I want you to move into disrupting those limiting beliefs. And, you know, we talked about recognizing them. It's anything that stops you. Disrupting a limiting belief is simple. I say stop and think. Think about what you're thinking about. Does it, is it really true? Do you have proof to prove that that limiting belief is true? Now, there are things in life circumstances that truly get in the way, but is it really true? And when you question yourself, look for the proof. Look for the proof. When you look for the proof, you can't find it. Reframe that thought from I can't or maybe I shouldn't or there's not enough to I am. I can, I will, I have, I do, I will, and I'm becoming. And start there. And then when you're done, if you're still struggling, ask for help. Get help from someone that you trust, someone that is a mentor, friend. Get help from even me. If you find yourself getting stuck on a particular one, you can reach out and we can go ahead and sh help you shift to where you're taking that that limiting belief into a place of abundance, right? And so the other thing that I say is connect to your true values and core beliefs. And so one of the things I've taught um, individuals over the years is sitting there and writing down things that you truly value, attributes that you, that you truly value. And you're like, what is it? What is a, what is a value? A value is I am passionate when you know that you're passionate about seeing young children growing up in a safe, healthy environment. That's a value. Those might, that might look about, that might be safety, right? Safety is a value. Honesty, uh, uh, be, being dependable these things are values and so we all have them and we want to make sure that those ones are ours but what if you're like well i believe that you know they could not really 
be a god well that's because is that because you really believe so or is that because of how you were raised or because you had a, a ex-partner that did not believe in god and you kind of just observed it and you went with it but you don't really know why then that value is not yours that belief is not yours right so connecting with your true values core beliefs and then uncover your purpose and your passion because you see one of the things i found was people who live in it in authenticity for example functioning in the realm of just going along with societal norms they they lose their way because your core values and your true beliefs for me is the needle in your gps compass of your life so that might be a struggle that you have set it set yourself up so long ago that you don't believe because your values and your belief systems are not yours and so the next step is to uncover and unlock your purpose really when you have determined your true values core beliefs now you tuck into the space where who am i and why am i here you've got to know your why you know my dear friend dr primar ellis says if you don't know a reason for a thing it's, it's paraphrasing from miles monroe if you don't know a reason for a thing you're going to misuse and abuse it and you're the number one thing in your life and are you misusing and abusing yourself and is that why you're not getting proper results in your relationships well that's a question i want you to examine a little bit so connect with your why with, with your with your true with your true north star and that is your why and i always remind uh, you know anyone that your purpose is the big why now how you're going to demonstrate that purpose is where we, i feel like we get stuck i don't think we anyone doesn't understand or know their why i think it's an inner knowing that we all have within us but how to truly get on the path of living and going in the direction of demonstrating and expressing that at various junctures in our life you know when i was five my why you know i was a young girl singing in sunday school and um it's obvious you're standing in front of people to do that that's leadership right and then as a teenager i'm becoming the sunday school secretary and so my ability to organize and help create structure and keep things in order and also lead became evident and then you know and as as a, as a young adult you know having my own business and and structuring that and teaching and leading youth and young children and also adults in that part in that part of the journey is really no no question that here I am but my purpose I was not sitting on a podcast I was not um talking speaking from stages around the globe I I was not interviewing all of the world I was not coaching people in mindset mastery I was not doing the things they do I was not working with corporate leaders I was not helping people navigate their career goals and launch their businesses and things like that I was not doing that but I was doing similar work in the capacity of where my life is so purpose is always with us and we just express that differently throughout different chapters of our life and but the theme song in the background remains the same and that's how you know what your purpose is if you're in your 30s or your 20s and you're just, you know what are you truly truly what what do you feel like brings you the most joy and the most fulfillment also I talk we talk about passions a lot and so in that different sphere it becomes your passion is I call the fire to the flame of your purpose and that's what fuels so you get to express your why through things and um through the meaning of what you're passionate about right so connecting with that and then uh, and then just for today because there's so many more that I can give you is is once you've integrate your purpose and your passion in there is is truly going into what you, what what do you believe right so you know what what do you truly believe and keeping those belief systems truly yours and and debunking and disrupting the ones that are limiting limiting you in your journey so i know those are going to help you just to wrap up today i want you to believe in yourself i want you to recognize your worth and believe in your abilities and know that you are capable of achieving greatness beyond your wildest dreams truly and then i want you to challenge and change those limiting beliefs that come up to block you take a courageous step in your to, to step out of your comfort zone and what you know and been doing for so long and challenge the beliefs that are holding you back simply embrace uncertainty in every part of the journey and look at them as opportunities for growth and transformation so you can come uh, evolve into the best version of yourself 
and then embrace abundance. You know, scarcity will truly be one of the biggest limiting beliefs and we don't realize, I know we think about a scarcity mindset when we think about finances and money, but we practice scarcity mindset in our careers and in our businesses, in our relationships, romantic, familiar relationships, either or. So I wanna encourage you to shift your mindset from scarcity to abundance by practicing gratitude. I am grateful. Like there's always something to be grateful for and cultivate positive positivity, right? Cultivate positivity. Open yourself up to endless possibility that surround you. Like if you think about it, the fact that you're breathing, the fact that you're sitting here, you know, you were able to get your hair done, you can move this arm, right? <laughs> Sometimes I live wait so heavily that I like, can't move the arm. I didn't realize that just trying to get my arm to scratch my head because, you know, it's, it's challenging. And so that's something we get grateful for that, you know what, I can get up and go walk a mile today. I can drink this water. You know, there are people who don't have, saw a man with, he, he had a whole gaping hole in his face because he developed a disease that didn't have a, a face. This whole section is gone. So we have a lot to be grateful for, whatever that looks like for you. So practice gratitude. And then the next thing is seize the moment of abundance. Seize, embrace a fearless mindset. Pursue your passions. Embrace failure as a stepping stone for greatness, for success. And let your resilience and creativity guide you on this journey to success. So together friends let's boldly enter into a phase that where our freedom of mind possibility prosperity and success lays but it's all going to be unlocked with the power of how you think speak do and become so i'm encouraging you to embrace an abundance mindset crush scarcity crush those limiting beliefs and just go on into a world. I am yours truly, Dr. Elisa White, your number one mindset disruptor. I'm so glad we got to talk about disrupting those limiting beliefs and stepping into abundance. Remember that your mindset is the key to your success. And we can't wait to see you in another episode of Mindset Mastery Moments. We'll see you soon. Bye now. Hey, it's Dr. Elisa, and I wanted to jump in and remind you that we have a thriving community called Mindset Mastery 360, where we from around the globe come together to master the power of our mindset. We are passionate about trans empowering minds, transforming minds, and truly changing our world from a perspective of mindset mastery, resilience and leadership, and socioeconomic impact for growth and development of not just you as a person, but your community in the world around us. So I want to encourage you to go to MindsetMastery360.org. Yes, that's MindsetMastery360.org. Click join us and get in the movement. What are you waiting for? So much growth, so much training, so much unlearning, so much learning, so much uh, global uh, community and all kinds of crazy, wild, fun, and most importantly, growth opportunities available at MM360. So go to MindsetMastery360.org and we will see you on the inside. Bye now.